Surprise! I'm doing this a little, I'm starting a little early because I started so late. Hello. <laughs> um, good morning, Trix. I just saw you come in. Good morning, Trix. Um, hope you're doing well. Today, <laughs> today for certain reasons, um, I'm going to be practicing how to draw a row of houses in one point perspective. So it's not watercolor. It is a pencil. It is a pencil sketch today. There's my cuddle buddy. You know it. Always down to cuddle. Gamer mouse alert. Oh yeah. Gamer mouse. Whoops. Nobody look. Nobody look at the fins. No. Rise the line. Good morning. How are you doing? Good to see you. Bracky. Good morning as well. Sizzik. Good morning. Oh my god. So many people came in at the same time. Oh my god. Um, I'm gonna try, um, so the lighting is really low today because it's a really cloudy morning, um, so I'm sorry that it's kind of dark, I tried to fix it, um, I don't even know if I'll be able to, to, like, finish this drawing today, so, we're just gonna do the best we can, <laughs> as always, we will just be doing the best that we can. But I hope all of y'all are having a good morning. Great, thank you for the lurk and good morning to you. Phone died for me there, hi Bosa. Oh my gosh, Jara, good morning. Riza, you know Autumn? We love Autumn here. She's, su she's so supportive, for reasons I don't understand. I see you're practicing perspective. Ooh, Bracky calling me out. You were right. I am a practicing uh, perspective. Uh, um, I'm following a video right now because while I understand one point perspective, I cannot say that I do it well. Um, When you have time, check the meme channel on Discord. Oh no, I'm afraid. Okay, Jar. After this stream, I will be checking the meme channel in the Discord. You got it. Hey! Oh my gosh. Bun Wizard Tammy, aka Bun Wizard, aka Julian, how are you? It's good to see you. I'm making my lines too thick and I hate it. Jar, you used your voice. I can't wait to hear. I love hearing people's voices. It's one of my favorite things. It's adorable. Oh my gosh. It's Rod. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm a little bit tired, a little bit sleepy, a little bit Alexis. <laughs> Um, I didn't get as much sleep last night as I wanted to. I was up too late. Um, bad habits. But I have to practice houses. And so I was like, okay, I can start tomorrow's stream late because it'll just be, it'll just be me. It'll just be me sketching, no watercolor. I did some watercolor paintings last night. Most of it was experimental. I was like learning some stuffs. So. Um. So I can at least say that I painted last night. I wish I was motivated to learn, but I'm lazy. I love the Snorlax. 
<laughs> I don't know why, but Bracky plus Snorlax emote to me feels like belly rubs are needed. Bracky must receive belly rubs. Um, I am incredibly motivated to learn. If I could be paid, if I could make a living just learning stuff, I would. That's what I would do. That's my calling. I don't know how that would help anyone, but... There you go. This roof did not turn out the way I needed to. Oh yeah, belly rubs, please. Tusky, Tusky, good morning. I would love to give you some belly rubs. Belly rubs for Tusky. That's what Nito does for me. Nito gives you belly rubs? You have to become my motivational supporter. Bracky, okay. I pay you in thank yous because that's all I can afford. <laughs> uh, you know what, Bracky? Starting today, it's me. I am your motivational supporter. I have I have taken on this job. I think you can do it. I think you're really capable. I think um, that you don't like learning because it's maybe a little uncomfortable and maybe it's a little slow paced for you. Um, I think that when you're learning... Sometimes they go over things you already get, which feels like a waste of time for you and you value your time very highly. But ultimately, I think you might like learning more than you think. If you could just give it a chance. Because you're very smart. I see I made a mistake. Maybe I could learn with treat incentives. I can do it for I can I can give you treats, Tusky. I can give you treats. Mm, okay. Hmm, how to fix. There's so much to fix here. Welcome to my TED Talk. <laughs> Clean your stinky self. Enjoy the shower. Heck, that is some good motivational talk. That got me. Ooh. Gray, you're welcome. I don't know if it helped Bracky, though. <laughs> Just more general affirmations for all of chat, please. <laughs> Great. So since tricks redeem talk like a wow old god, would you like me to do it in an, in my old god impression voice? Or would you like me to wait until that redemption has ended and then give you the lighthearted advice? <laughs> Let's see. How long is the old god talk? Oh, let me make sure I didn't miss anyone in chat. Chat, I'm sorry. I could honestly listen to you say some sweet positive affirmations all day. Oh my gosh, fun wizard. Cthune life coaching me in my ear. But what if the what if Cthune was me? I would love to hear an old god voice though. Oh my gosh. Let me make sure I set the timer. The way I never remember. Three minutes. Okay, it's three minutes for old god, two minutes for ASMR. Okay. Beginning now is when I will do my old god impression. This is morning Cthun. Cthun in the morning has not had any coffee. 
to Cthulhu in the morning is a little less homicidal. But that doesn't mean that I can't speak in a super deep voice. I guess I'm switching the war a lot. <laughs> Cthulhu is me. The highest of all compliments. Oink for me, Rod. Oink for me, Merle. Oh my god, Gray. I'm so glad you weren't at my evening stream two nights ago. What a chaotic mess. Old god hair. I got Cthulhu makeup. <laughs> old Grey has the power to make old gods giggle. <laughs> Merle, that's hysterical. Thank you, but also <laughs> lol. Imagining Cthulhu with a massive coffee mug in one tentacle and some eye drops in another. Cthulhu would most certainly need eye drops in the morning. Most certainly. And then once he has to get ready for his job at World of Warcraft where he's not paid well or treated or respected well because it's Blizzard. He has to put on contacts. just hit the mic with my with my ruler I apologize chat you deserve better <laughs> old god here is one god that I would pray to ooh woo melon pond mellow mellow melon pond I need eye drops after witnessing the cutie that is Rod, to be honest. Oh my gosh, Char, you're so wonderfully sweet. Thank you. Now beatbox. I don't know if I can do that, Bracky. T for good morning. T for you're just in time for, um... Oh, you're just in time for my old god voice to end, apparently. <laughs> Too much for mortal eyes, oh my gosh. You're so innocent, adorable. Wait, the way I had to hold in my laughter yesterday for pretending I didn't know what the oink was about. I knew it. Something that I heard, I heard you holding in that, that, that smile. I heard it all across your face. You're here for vacation, oh my gosh. I'm glad you're relaxing. I'm glad you're doing well. Okay, so Gray asked for some lighthearted affirmations. I don't normally do many affirmations, so this will be a first for me, chat. But I will, I will try my best for you. Um, I think, chat, that you are so much more capable than what you give yourself credit for. I think that as an adult, we lose the spark and ability to believe in ourselves a little bit because we face really hard challenges that we weren't adequately prepared for because our edu educational systems have failed us. And I think you take that upon yourself as your own fault and your responsibility. And I don't think you should do that. I think you should cut yourself some slack. I think that because you've spent so much of your life trying to aim for a good grade so that you could appease either yourself or your parents, or you could, in some misinformed, well-intentioned way, try and earn yourself a better job through good grades, which isn't how it even works anymore. You have decided that every time that you fail at something, it's something that you should stop doing. And I think you should let that go because that's not actually how real life works. Real life does not work on a grade. We don't die and then get graded on how well we did. And you never get better at things you're not good at if you don't decide to fail at it first. There are very few things, if anything at all, that you'll be good at as soon as you start without any practice. I think you need to allow yourself to fail a little bit if you expect to get anything that you would actually like to get accomplished done. Otherwise, you'll always be stuck in doing the things you know 
and always miserable wishing you did things that you didn't know. And I would rather you live a life where you try things than be miserable and stuck. Yo. Yo, that's that WAP sound. Wait, did you hear that? <laughs> Look at this. This this follow alert is so hilariously out of place with my morning streams. Kedra, it's been such a long time. Kedra, I hope you're doing well. It's so good to see you. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Welcome to Moz. How have you been? How have you been doing? It's good to see you. Should have followed a fellow wild abandoned member. Ah, oh, thank you. He followed right in the middle of me trying to do some affirmations for chat at Old Grey Hair's request. Oh, Kidra was streaming this morning? Oh no. I'm sorry I didn't see. I still fondly remember his Mario Sunshine stream. I love that game. I could watch anyone play Mario Sunshine. And Kidra made it fun. Oh, these <laughs> lines are so hilariously slanted. How was week? Is draw good, sleep well. <laughs> Digi, good morning. Hilariously, after doing those affirmations <laughs> for Gray, now I find it hard to talk it to talk bad about myself. <laughs> I feel like this is a trick. I feel like I was tricked um, into <laughs> into a positive mindset. Gray, how could you? The ultimate old god technique. Of, of mind alteration. Um, my week was pretty okay. Actually, I have I have a lot that I could talk about, chat, if you want. If you want me to, I guess. What? I did nothing. Old, old God hair strikes again. You deserve all the good things, Rod. Thank you. Thank you, Bun Wizard. You deserve the good talk. Thank you. Did you hope you're doing well? Um... So this week, my manager was out from Monday through Wednesday, and we had an emergency at work happen while they were out um, on on Wednesday, actually. And I and I handled it as I think as best as I could. Nothing terrible happened. Um, mainly since I work for a software company, and a, since AWS had another issue, we were all affected um is what happened um and so <laughs> my manager comes back on thursday yesterday they came back yesterday and they were like so we had an outage <laughs> while i was away and i was like yes but everything is fine um and they were like you did great like <laughs> um like apparently the CEO thought that I handled it really well. So I was like, cool, good moves. <laughs> um, any any opportunity I have to <laughs> impress the CEO is a good opportunity, I suppose. So that went well. Um, otherwise, yeah. them, the Mickey Mouse was unwelcome. <laughs> Lynx, thank you for the resub. Lynx, I love you. See you, chat. Oh my gosh. Merle, I love you too. <laughs> Take care. You can do a rod rod cheering for you. Lynx, thank you. Um. So that went well. So work's been going okay. I'm a little behind on my own work, but I think people can forgive me for that. Um. Yesterday, I painted three different paintings. 
none that I, none of them I was too happy with. They were mainly experimental. And I ended up getting some splatter on my screen and keyboard, which is Sayid. But um, I'm glad that I painted and I'm glad that I tried. Um, and so, oh, and so, okay, so I have, I have some really exciting news. So, as some of y'all know, um, I've been wanting to, like, one of my goals, right? One of my goals is to become an artist that can support himself, you know, some of you know this. Um, like, so eventually my goal is to be able to like take commissions, maybe do like some watercolor paintings for people's personas and stuff. Um, um, and then like my, and then start my own comic. Like, I think I've spoken about this a little bit. Like those are my, my goals, right? Um, so a few days ago, a person who's an artist whose work I really, really enjoy and respect, um, DM'd me on Twitter and was like, hey, so I know this is like kind of early, but like, would you take a commission from me? And I was like, what? <laughs> Sorry, my Kim Pacino jumped out right there. I I love Kim. I need to talk to him more. But um, he was like, um, yeah, like I would like, like if you could do like a watercolor, like painting with like some houses with the lights on at night in w in the winter like that would be really cool and there's like no timeline um on that like you can take your time um and stuff and i was like like my brain was like <laughs> my brain was like you're not ready you're not ready say no you're not ready but then like i was like no like i should say yes like like this is a really great opportunity like this is somebody who i really admire and they like like this is a great way to start this and a great way to like get myself to like start practicing and like um and like there's no timeline they said i could take my time like conditions are ideal like i should do it i should do it um and so i told him yes <laughs> um <laughs> what does he say? You're cracked? Oh my god, yes, that's what, that's what Kipachino says. Kipachino would be like, you're cracked? <laughs> um, and so I was like, yeah, I'll do it. I would love to do it. And he was like, great. And like he, like, <laughs> I told him what my price was, which I, I put like pretty low because I'm like, I can't even guarantee like quality right now. Like I'm still so new. And then he paid me <laughs> way more. <laughs> than I asked for. Uh, it was so funny. I was like, oh no, the situation has reversed. I'm the one normally doing this <laughs> to artists. Um, and so like, so for the next little while, I'm going to be practicing drawing lots of houses um, and drawing some like winter landscapes because I really need to figure out how to um, how to draw them <laughs> well so that I can paint them well. So we're all gonna get into the into the winter spirit, I guess you could say. Because I need I need the practice. It's a luxury product after all. I mean, but like, <laughs> since I'm, I'm not any good right now, like, I'm like, I can't charge. <laughs> um, especially not people I like. Like, what will they say if it's bad? I can't handle it. Um. Yes, you fucking can charge. Oh my gosh, Himbro, where did you come from? Himbro, hello. That's so funny. I'm about to do a lewd joke, Wearly. Hello, Wearly. It's not a lewd joke. Oh no, what's gonna happen? No, Rod, you're absolutely incredible. <laughs> Fun wizard. You are good. Shut up, you cutie. <laughs> Your heart is great and has room for more growth. <laughs> oh my gosh. The affirmations have ended in my brain. Um. Okay, let's see.
I can darken some of these lines right now. Turntables, you know, Rod is incredible. Ryder, Ryder, you don't know how happy it makes me every time I see you in my chat. <laughs> Truly, it's always so good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Good evening over there in Australia, right? It's evening. first sketch this doesn't come out too bad but like I need to fix a lot of things I need to get better at this some more pencil sketching oh do you even hear that do you hear me when i'm like penciling no rod is fucking phenomenal and nothing can prove me otherwise bun wizard thank you just think about rod you're getting commission requests while you're learning that shows the skill set you have is incredible t for t for t for thank you is that what that means? I don't know. I just feel lucky. I just feel really lucky. And unworthy. I feel lucky and unworthy. But I was like, oh my god, it's finally happening already. People want my paintings. <laughs> I was so ecstatic. So you said, you said, keep doing you, you were great. Teeper, thank you. I have a sharp ear. Oh my gosh. Wait, what happened? Sore, Ryder, what happened? What did I miss? What did I not understand? Uh, the music stopped. It smells like talented cutie in here, jar. It smells like you? Oh my. It smells like jar auto. Let me get some music. Let me get some music. Ah, I see. I see what this is doing. So it looks like I'm running out of time already. However, I think I can fit in just a little more before it, I must be off. No idea what I should smell like to anyone else. Oh my gosh, like soap. Oh, 
Oh, this is not high enough. That's okay. Nazard Wolf, hello. Did I say did I say hi tone twice? <laughs> well he is deaf. Oh my gosh, Nazard. That's hilarious. <laughs> He is deaf leopard. Eska, bonjour, bonjour, Eska. Como sa, como sa, como Como vale, salivu? This is coming out of my brain right now. Brain memory. I have no idea what I'm saying. Como tale vu? Tale? Ça va? <laughs> Rod speaking French. I'm trying. <laughs> and I understand. <laughs> We're all French. Eska comes into chat. We're all French. Where les bon lugaru? Lugaru? Explicit Klein Deutsch. Ça va super, et toi? <laughs> et toi? Omelette du fromage? <laughs> if I was still learning French, I would practice with Eska and Rarely all the time. It would give me an excuse to talk to them all the time. Ça va bien? school never go guys I mean you can talk to me whenever you want really Eska really are there other languages you speak Eska and rarely if you're still there is French your most comfortable Speak English as you know, and just a bit of German. Got it. Just a bit of German. I do know you speak English. That's true. I should have been like, besides French and English, because <laughs> you do speak English very well. can also speak the dwarf wow it's like elf but smaller 
<laughs> and Japanese with looking at anime. Oh my gosh, Eska. <laughs> Ah, uh, excuse me. That was just a cough, but I wanted to say excuse me anyway. Thank you for the hugs. Zama, good morning. And you, Rod, what languages do you, do you speak? I speak English and I speak Spanish. Um, my Spanish could use a lot more work. Um, I would say I speak it conversationally. And I understand more than I can say. But those are the two I speak. Hablo espanol to me, pop. <laughs> you mean habla espanol a mi, papi. Hi, good to see you. <laughs> it's so funny. Boss, good morning. Oh my gosh. It's my other favorite lion. Because I'm not picking between both of you. That's me with Mandarin and Tagalog. Oh my gosh, yay. Morning, Art Kasky. Good morning. Oh my gosh, everybody, everybody like showed up together. It's kind of like I'm throwing a party and like all my friends show up in waves. You can have other favorites. None would top you in Lennox, boss. Party at Rod's, party at Me's. <laughs> I'll make all of y'all fried chicken sandwiches. Come over. No longer will you be stuck under the tyranny of homophobic Chick-fil-A. I will make you the fried chicken sandwiches from now on. It's me. Your favorite shortcut. I've had them. <laughs> That's true, that's what I've had them. Molt, good morning. We should have to see this serenely sexy shortcut sketch spectacularly. Ooh, alliteration. A rod party with food? A rod party is mainly food. <laughs> so that's doable. My favorite part about throwing a party is being in the kitchen cooking. That's what I like to do. So. Food party is bed party. Nazard, I agree. The crunch, the juicy chicken, the spicy mayo, the pickles. <laughs> It was heavenly. You're heavenly. Oh my fucking God, y'all. I am almost 10 minutes late for work. What am I doing? This is what happens. I start having fun. I forget about my responsibilities. How could, how could this, how could this be? How could this be? We must raid. I must go. I can't believe I let this slip. I can't believe I let this happen for so long. Everybody just got here, but I must leave. It's me, Cinderella. The clock has struck 12. I must run off to my capitalist Yo. husband. Yo, that's that WAP sound. Wait, did you hear that? Look at this. <laughs> Zombie Gunk, thank you so much for the follow. I'm so sorry you're following right as I'm having to end. <laughs> but thank you so much. I hope I can, I hope we get more time to spend together in the future when I'm not running <laughs> to go <laughs> to, <laughs> to work. <laughs> Anyway, we're absolutely raiding Merle. I never get to raid Merle, and he's streaming for some reason, so I'm raiding him. Silver, good morning. It's going very well. Thank you all for being here for my house practice. It's like house flipper, but not. Um, 
Let me see. Raid message. We have to behave. By the way, Merle's chat is PG-13. So everybody behave on your best behavior. No flirting, no lewd, no cursing. <laughs> um, F-Pop, thanks for streaming. stream. f five. thank you for being here. Him, bro. <laughs> I hope so, too. <laughs> Maybe I'll become a good enough artist to quit. Um, let me go to my ending screen just so y'all can see some cute seals. While I come up with a raid message, the raid message is... The raid message will be generic, but it'll be a good feels type. It'll be happy Friday morning, because it's finally Friday, yay. Okay, let me see if I pasted that. I did, all right, I love y'all. Thank y'all for being here. Look forward to more pencil sketch art streams in the future, along with the watercolor paintings that I normally do. I have to get so much practice in if I hope to do this commission right. Okay, I love you all, goodbye. You're, you're quite correct. It does sound a little bit like that, but if you've heard a fox laugh, uh, it's actually quite similar. <laughs> <laughs>